Okay. Okay, the first. <laughs> but the first name I see. <laughs> it's Tanya and welcome to today's video and today I wanted to do a really fun video so recently I have been watching people doing flip the page reading challenge created by jo Jesse du this challenge is difficult to explain it's like basically you are creating a new identity of yourself and you are writing like a story of this your new identity based on random pages of random books you just randomly open so it's hard to explain so i will just link his video in the description box down below so you can check it out but it's really funny and it's very interesting so i thought i wanted to do it even though it's relatively old challenge and i am late on the wagon but anyway it's still going to be fun and i hope you enjoy so with no further ado let's begin so what i did because i don't really use my instagram so instead of that i just decided that i will just use random number generator so i will randomly generate any book from my collection i counted like all of my books and so i will just generate a random number and then i will just open a random page and just stick my finger <laughs> whatever it shows and then i will try to find the appropriate answer to the challenge the first prompt you are getting a new identity flip to a random page and the first name you see is now your new name and now i'm going to generate a random book oh <laughs> so the book i have to find is number 87 okay let's count okay interestingly enough number 87 on my shelf is harry potter and the goblet of fire so <laughs> Apparently I am receiving one of my new name is Neville. Anyway, so random page. Okay. Okay, the first <laughs> but the first name I see <laughs> The first name I see is me. <laughs> <clears throat> Compose yourself. <laughs> Okay, so the first name I see on this page is literally the first word on this page is Mrs. Weasley. <laughs> Okay, my new name is Mrs. Weasley. <laughs> okay, it's time to get up and move the heck out of your town. The location of the book your coordinates lead you to will be where you are moving. Okay, so now oh, I even cried. Next book is number 82. <laughs> Okay, 82. <laughs> Number 82 is J.R.R. Tolkien, Letters from Father Christo. <laughs> if you don't know, this is the collection of his letters <laughs> where he pretends to be Santa Claus. <laughs> and so 
all of the letters are set in the North Pole. <laughs> so Mrs. Weasley <laughs> is going to the North Pole. <laughs> this is where out of the whole world <laughs> I've decided to move to the North Pole. Good decision, Mrs. Weasley. Great decision, North Pole. Well, I miss the snow, but like not that much. Anyway, <clears throat> number three. <laughs> you're all settled into new home in the North Pole, but you gotta get a job to get the cash money flow going. What job can you get in the North Floor? North Floor in the North Pole. Create a job using the first object you find with the coordinates and page number. Thirty-three. Okay, and book number 33 is actually the book that I'm reading right now, and it's The Enlightenment of the Green Gauge Tree by Shuku Fezar. Brilliant book, by the way, so far. Okay, let's just open a random page. And the first object that I see here. Okay, the first garden in the back. Garden is not an object. Garden is a place. Roses. The, fil the first object I, see, object I see is yellow roses. <laughs> For example, I have a greenhouse in the North Pole. If you don't know, recently on the North Pole there was like this huge ozone hole. Maybe Mrs. Weasley <laughs> moved to the North Pole as an environmentalist and she decides to grow plants in the North Pole so it would produce oxygen not gonna work but mrs weasley is a magician so she's gonna make it work grow plants and yellow roses and then send them to the mainland <laughs> sorry this is the best they could do with yellow roses on the north pole you've started your job and you've started developing feelings for a co-worker oh i'm not the only one on the north pole find the book using your coordinates flip to a random page and the first character you come across will be the character you are falling for. <laughs> okay, let's find that husband for Mrs. Weasley. Random page is number 28. Number 28 was the book Sanshiro by Natsume Sosaki, which I haven't read, but it's on my Asian read on TBR. So, let's find the first name. Random page, let's do this page. And the first name I see here is Yojiro. Never come. Mrs. Weasley is going to fall for Mr. Yojiro. Okay, next challenge. Using the coordinates and random page, the first piece of dialogue you come across will be the first thing you say to your potential lover. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, random number is number 19. And the book that I need is the water horse. <laughs> oh. And the first words that I'm going that Mrs. Weasley is going to say to her future lover are there is blood in the water. This is this is getting a little bit creepy, people. This is getting a little bit creepy. She was growing yellow roses in the North Pole. <laughs> and now she sees blood. This is getting creepy. Anyway, that line really got to them. <laughs> oh, yes, it definitely did. <laughs> Next thing you know, you're in love. You're going to propose. But buying a wedding ring is, ring is too expensive. Using the coordinates and random page you were given, the first object you come across will be what you propose with. Okay, 75. Number 75 is Tooth and Claw. And if you don't know, this book, like all the characters in this book, are dragons. So I don't know what object can I use from here to propose with. Anyway, a random page. This page. Children. Children are not objects. Children are people. I cannot propose with a child. 
Oh, Mrs. Weasley is being very <laughs> interesting lady. <laughs> anyway, even though child is not an object, she's going to propose with a child. Because Mrs. Weasley apparently is an adventurous woman. <laughs> okay, so now that she has proposed <laughs> with a child, next one. <laughs> We've arrived at your wedding with the book using your coordinates, flip to a random page and the first piece of dialogue you will find will be the first lines of your vow. Oh, book number 82. Do they have 82 already? Okay, so number 82 is the luminaries. They don't have many good dialogues, at least that I have read. They discuss murders and horrors and stuff. Okay, let's go to further, but I haven't read, so maybe there will, they will have good time. Let's go to closer to the end. And let's read the left page. First dialogue. <laughs> Apparently, the first line of my vow will be, what does he do for a living? <laughs> uh, that's a little bit late to, add this, to ask this question from Mr. I forgot his name already, Yojiro? Yojiro? Yojiro, it's already a little bit late to ask this question on your wedding ceremony, Mrs. Weasley. Mrs. Weasley is an interesting woman. It's honeymoon time. Wherever the book's location that your coordinates lead you to will be the destination for your lover's retreat. 115. Book number 115 was actually a non-fiction book about Native Americans and <laughs> an Indian history of the American West. So apparently our retreat will be in America. Okay, so we will leave the North Pole. Okay, and we will go on honeymoon to America, somewhere to American West. Okay, I would say that's a nice destination. I, have, I can say nothing against that. <laughs> Things got a little cray on the honeymoon and now you're expecting a baby. Oh wow, but she has already proposed with the baby. Okay, now they have two. <laughs> with the next coordinates and the random page, the first name you find will be the name of your firstborn, in our case, in Mrs. Weasley's case, secondborn child. 100. 32. I'm getting red, jumping all around my room looking for room for the books. Anyway, so the book that was under number 132 is The Name of the Wind. Okay, random name of our second born child. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. Hemme? Hemme? Hemme. Hemme. Okay, Hemme. I, I'm not sure if it's a girl or a boy. Hemme. <laughs> That's the name of our second born. I don't even know the name of our first born child. Not important. We are time jumping, five years. Your child is desperately begging for a pet. Find the book using your coordinates. Flip the page to the page number you were given. The first creature you come across will be your pet. If you don't find the creature, then the first object you find will have to be used as a pet replacement. Number 48. Number 48 is Frost in May. I've read this book. It's amazing. Highly recommended. But I don't remember any pets there. They're li living in a convent school. Like, there are no pets there. There are only nuns. <laughs> okay. A random page. Object or a creature? Shell. Okay, the first creature-esque thing that I find is a shell. So let's assume that it's a shellfish. Poor child. <laughs> Our poor children. I feel sorry for them. Well, you don't really have much choice when you live on the North Pole. Apparently, shellfish is the only creature that can survive there. Pink roses do, but anyway. You decide you've got to start a YouTube channel for a side hobby. 
find the book using your coordinates, flip to a random page, find something on that page that will be the core topic of your channel. This is interesting. Okay, number 18. Number 18 is Once Upon a River by Diane Sederfield. Okay, random page, C. Okay, so on this page they're talking about relationship with parents which is kind of fitting. Mrs. Weasley has two children so far, so far. Mr. Yujiro apparently isn't doing as well as Mr. Weasley, <laughs> but so far they have only two children with Mr. Yujiro. Apparently her YouTube channel will be about children and parents' relationships, which is interesting by the way, so, huh. I feel like Mrs. Weasley has done a good choice in, in terms of her YouTube channel. <laughs> Very helpful, I hope, for people. Find the book using your coordinates. Fit, flip to a random page and using words from that page, create a YouTube channel name. Eight. Okay, we will do eight. Number eight is Fugitive Pieces. I still haven't read this book and it has been... So oh, the font is so big. Why I still haven't read this book? The font is huge. I could easily read this. Anyway, <laughs> random page, words. One can look deeply for meaning or one can invent it. Let's do the name of my YouTube channel will be Invented Meaning because it's relationship between parents and children. It, you kind of create your meanings in communication. Invented meaning, something like that. Mrs. Weasley, good. You've decided to write a book, of course. Find the book using your coordinates. Flip to the page, flip to a random page. Using words from that page, create a book title. Not interesting. Next one. Find the book using your coordinates. Flip to a random page and the first line you see will be the opening line of your book. Okay, this is interesting. Let's do the opening line of my page. 75. Did I have 75 already? I forgot my numbers. I had 75. 31. Okay. I'm red. <laughs> I'm all red. Okay. So the book that I found on number 31. 31? Yes, 31. Is Men Without Women by Ernst Hemingway. And this collection of his short stories which, which was interesting, by the way. Okay, so the first line on the left page. Accept the wife. <laughs> this is going to be the first line. Accept the wife, I said. Great. Great start to a book. What, what a gripping first line of a book. Like, you just want to read the whole book after this line. Plot twist. <laughs> The reason you even created a new identity for yourself is because a killer was after you. Now that you've a mega famous author and YouTuber, they've tracked you down again and they're coming for you. Find the book using your coordinates, flip to a random page. The first character you see will be your killer. I don't like the direction this whole thing is going to. I remember what other how other people ended up. We will change it. <laughs> In this video, we are going to change it. Anyway, let's find the killer. Who is who is that obnoxious person who is trying to kill Mrs. Weasley? Number 106. This book is actually very fitting. I finished it recently. Brighton Rock by Graham Greene. And if you don't know, this is a book about like gangs in Brighton. And so one of like lead like a very young leader, he's like 17 years old of the gang, he killed a person. And now like a woman after is after him. So I feel like this book is very fitting. Anyway, so this page, the first name The Boy. <laughs> the boy! The boy is like the pinky, so like the main character. Just author calls him the boy with like big B because he's like a leader and pinky basically. Pinky is... Oh no, I don't want to deal with pinky. He's insane. 
He's insane. Cole is pink, is very fitting. Pinky. Pinky is insane. Mrs. Weasley has to be very smart if she wants to survive. Because that that boy He's just terrible. One day we, one day you are setting up to film a YouTube video when you are suddenly struck by the killer, by the pinky. Oh, pinky came. <laughs> Find the book using your coordinates. Flip the page to a random page. The first object you come across is what they used to... No. No. We are going to change that. No. From now on, they're going to be my prompts because Mrs. Weasley is an independent woman and she writes her own story. Mrs. Weasley is against this whole thing. Mrs. Weasley is going to is going to adopt Pinky because Pinky needs schooling and she is a professional mom, you know? She has already written books, she has already has a YouTube channel about parenting. She's going to take care of Pinky. Besides, she's a magician. So Pinky is in good hands. So I'm going to <laughs> find a random book, flip to a random book number, and the first piece of dialogue that I see are going to be words that are going to change Pinky's mind. And after this word, Pinky falls in love. I mean, like, he starts liking Mrs. Weasley, and he's not going to kill her. Pinky is going to be Mrs. Weasley's third son. Now she's going to, she needs to convince him to be adopted by her. Number 92. Number 82 is my favorite book. <laughs> you see? That's because I'm doing the right decision. Because Mrs. Weasley is going to adopt Pinky. So now the universe has given me my favorite book. Let's find a good line of dialogue that can change Pinky's mind. Let's do the right side. I convinced myself I had at least some talent. I held on to the dream that this would be enough and someday I would finally make it. But your straightforward advice has helped me sort things out. This is a very straightforward advice, I would say. This is too straightforward coming for somebody. I'm thinking I need to take stock of my situation. Now that I think back on it, I may have become too attached to the idea of chasing a dream. It's made me unable to realize when I should take a step back and stop. Mrs. Weasley, such a considerate woman. Apparently after these words, Pinky was like, oh, wait, <laughs> this lady is a lovely thing. <laughs> she does not deserve this terrible treatment. Great, Mrs. Weasley survived. <laughs> and now, okay, so now are my prompts, right? Now that she has adopted Pinky, they're going to celebrate and they are going to invite Pinky's, no, they're going to invite Mrs. Weasley's best friends and Pinky's friends. And so the first line of the next book I find is going to be the first line of the invitation. Number 11 is the house on Mango Street. I'm so bad. And this book isn't exactly very celebratory, you know? Anyway, the first line of the invitation to the celebration of Pinky's adop adop adaptation, adoptment, of Pinky being adopted by Mrs. Weasley is going to be. But there is nobody around us but us. <laughs> Great. This is very celebratory. So now, we are going to wrap it all up. It's too long, right? So they have celebrated Pinky's ado Pinky being adopted. What are they going to do now? Pinky is going to school. He needs a good education. He was 17 years old in that book, so he is quite old already. That's why he is going to college. Mrs. Weasley is going to do her best to give a good education to Pinky because education is the key. The book is number 20, so Pinky's major. So what is Pinky going to study in the college? Interesting. So the book is Bodolino and Bodolino is set in like Byzantium and ancient Rome. So it's very old. Okay, let's find. Apparently Pinky is going to study history. Pinky! Pinky surprises me. This person never stopped surprising me. Pinky is going to study religion. Of course, he has done so many terrible things. Now he has to attain himself. Perfect. Pinky is 
going to church, Pinky is going to be a priest because he has to attain his sins perfect. So, and on this wonderful note, I think we are going to finish this because after that, the ending of the story is they lived happily ever after. So, that's what we were going for. Living happily ever after. Perfect. Pinky is a priest. Pinky attained his sins. Mrs. Weasley is growing pink roses on the North Pole, having a YouTube, YouTube, having a YouTube channel and writing books. Perfect. Wonderful. Great. <laughs> and Mr. Yujiro... What is Mr. Yujiro doing? Mr. Yujiro is working on his fourth child, apparently. <laughs> And also, of course, educating Pink Pinky. Pinky needs attention. Pinky needs to be surveilled and supervised. Because that person, Pinky, if you haven't read Brighton Rock, you should. But <laughs> Pinky is a difficult person. Anyway, so, but now that we have changed Pinky and Pinky is living a happy life, which makes us all happy, I'm going to end this video right here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you are having a wonderful day, staying safe. <laughs> Can you see I'm very happy? Anyway, <laughs> I hope you're staying safe, having a very good day, and I will see you soon in my next video. Let me know if you enjoyed this video. I think it was quite funny. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a good day. Peace.